Hey, it's Bart Scotch Test Dummies in my Rito glass is way over there. So if you want to know this, the Rito Cognac glass, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's light, it's delicate, it's stemmed. And the way the curve at the top of the glass meets my lip, I've quoted as saying, it's like a great kiss. <laughs> All right. I've kept on the red shirt. I've done a few quick hitters in succession. Um, trying to keep these a little quicker, a little cleaner, a little more sharp and on task. I do my quick hitters blind. It's all about the experience. It's all about the exploration. Try it if you haven't. I've talked about it enough, but it really assists in training your palate. So, this is the first time you've tuned into one of my quick hitters. What is it? Um, I don't take a look at the sample. I go in, I nose it, taste it, give my impressions, try to be in the moment, try to be inside the experience. Just spend some time with the spirit. I'll then let you know what it is. I'll usually try it again. Um, I, sometimes I feel like I need to peg what it is, but I really don't. I just need to experience it. Um, but I still try. So. Oh, get what I can only describe currently is more of a, a Scotch influence. Again, this whiskey, I don't know if it's American, Canadian, worldwide. It could even be a non-whiskey. Uh, it could be non-whiskey? Yeah, it could be an Armagnac. All different kinds of spirits. Hmm, sweet, smooth, rich. Slight hint of white grape, pear, hmm. maybe even green apple. Hmm. Multi goodness right on the uh, right on the open. bread, baking bread, or the dough, kind of moving through the mid, finishes, well, both, both like a pear sweetness and a slight kind of hoppiness, like that floral hoppy almost like that last little tingle you get from an, a, a real good IPA. And that's something. I mean, it, it's not beerish. Don't, don't get me on that. ABV feels a little lighter. I would say max 43. It's a scotch. Mm. I got a little little touch of like white pepper. But again, that sweetness then trickles right back in. Wow. Royal Salute, 21 year, 40% ABV. All right, here's my ignorance. I have no idea what Royal Salute is. 21 years old, it's very, very smooth. 40%. It's a light ABV. It's very flavorful. I wish the ABV was up a little bit. I'll do some research and post. This is from the Beeb. And uh, figure out what Royal Salute is. Because that malty goodness. I love a good doughy, a good bread influence. I love bread. Hello. Watch the carbs. Mmm. The 21 year lends itself with its solid underlayment of just smooth craft. Again, maltiness and doughiness is where I keep coming back to. Let me add a touch of water just to see if it opens anything up. 
just a little bit. One hefty drop, a little bit over there. Let her sit here. a little pepper on the nose, a little floral. I wish I could get into more detail with floral. Mm. I would drink this neat, but that's most things. Drop of water even seemed to water it down more. Didn't open anything new to me. If anything, it dropped. It, it deadens some of those doughy notes, those malty notes. This would be a pure sipper, no water added. It's got a smooth creaminess on the finish. The cream, almost like a, a real, that same aftertaste you'll get from a really, really good cheesecake, like a lemon cheesecake. Hmm. A little bit dry, almost that powdered sugar sweetness, the astringency on the finish. Hmm. Nicely done. That is it. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. See you, dummies.